Carlos, you asked me what my favourite memory on the set of Superman 2 is. I think really I have to say the experience of working with Marlon Brando um, and Gene Hackman. Marlon Brando was a brilliant experience. I was a young actress and I was so in awe of him I could barely speak to him. But to be on the same set as him was uh, a, a terrific, terrific honour. As far as having the best time, Gene Hackman. I just loved working with him and we laughed all day long and we had lots and lots of fun and I think you can see in some of the shots uh, there's one famous still actually of him where we're holding hands on the um, the fireplace in the White House and he's just squeezing my hand a little bit too much um, and I'm supposed to be cracking his I think that's what was going on but I have a little smile on my face and you can tell that I'm obviously enjoying the experience. I love Superman. It was all fun and um, I couldn't do it nowadays but back then I was game and um, thanks for the question. Hello Clyde. Well, you, of course, sent the longest question, all to do with CGI, blockbuster movies, Superman being one of the, well, it was one of the first movies we, we worked without CGI. We did our own stunts. And you asked the question whether or not I mind that, that nowadays action films are, well, they don't have as much action. The actors don't do so much. It's all CGI. I don't mind at all. Um, I had a great time making Superman. Um, as far as making trillions of dollars, you also questioned that um, we were probably making a lot of money in the 70s. I want you to know we weren't. And once again, for the record, no, I don't get any money every time the film is shown. No, I don't get any money for the DVDs, the videos, anything in fact. Um, I got a flat fee when I did it and um, I was very grateful at the time. Looking back now though, wouldn't it be great if I was getting all that money, Clyde, I'd fly over and take you out for a cup of coffee. How's that? See you soon, I hope, at the next convention, maybe. Bye. Hey, Mark. You've asked how I got the role on Superman, so you haven't really done your homework, have you? That's all right. I'm not going to come and get you. Uh, I think most people know that there was a long audition process which I went through and, um, and a good flying test because a lot of the actresses weren't too keen on hanging on those wires. I, however, loved it. So part of my audition was to go up on the wires, jump off this windowsill and have a good fly across, which I did and I loved. And um, if you want to know anything about Superman, any other questions, I'm sure you only have to dip into all the wonderful Superman sites. They've got all the information you could ever want about how, why, wherefore, etc, etc. But I personally wanted to thank you for taking the trouble to send in your question. Thanks, Mark. Hi, Jesse. A non-Superman question. Thank you so much. You asked what it was like to work with Pierce Brosnan when I did Remington Steel. I have to tell you, it was one of the best experiences. Apart from being divine and gorgeous, he's a most charming man. And we did Remington Steel in, um, in Dublin. So it was lovely to be in Dublin City. And he is as charming on screen as off screen and as charming off screen as he is on screen. He's an absolute delight. And I was very lucky to be able to play that role and get to have a little roll and a tumble and a I think I got the odd kiss from him, but um, enough of that. Thanks for the question. Hi, Marga. You asked what my most difficult role was, and I have to say Babylon 5 because of the prosthetics. If you saw the movie, you'll know that I looked pretty horrendous, and it was a horrendous makeup every morning, a couple of hours, lots of latex and lots of prosthetics. Um, horrible contact lenses in my eyes to make me look cat-like, a very strange brow, my hair, I had hair stuck to my chin, and all in all, difficult, the role was difficult because of that makeup. Other than that, it's been a breeze. Hi Alana, hi Claire, thanks for your question. What's my favourite city in the world? It has to be Barcelona. Barcelona. I love it. 
I, um, I discovered it when I shot Dali there and I was playing Salvador Dali's wife Gala and I spent a few weeks there and I have returned every year. Barcelona, my favourite city. Beatriz, thank you so much for that fabulous portrait from V. You are so talented and I really appreciate it. It was a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you also for your question. Of course I loved doing V. I'll tell you what my great regret was, that I didn't do the series of V. When I did the mini-series, there was an opportunity to go on to the series and I was already playing Pamela Lynch on Falcon Crest and I was offered a series of Falcon Crest um, and at the time that seemed like a good idea. How I wish I'd gone for B. I hope I've answered your question. Thank you so much for asking and, you know, I love V. And what's really great is I love Jane. So it was so terrific to see her before Christmas, to have lunch and uh, to enjoy her company once again after all these years. She looks bloody great, doesn't she? Bye.